Hello, I'm Hilary Hahn, and I am here with... Pietari Inkinen. And what do you do? I'm a conductor. <laughs> and um, how did you become a conductor? Uh, I actually started with the violin uh, when I was four years old, and then at 14, conducting came aboard. I got a chance to try it with, a, with an orchestra and was hooked after that, and slowly turned into more conducting than playing the violin. What do you like about conducting? Though the repertoire is so fascinating, it's it's and sort of unlimited. It's one lifetime is not enough to do all these great things in, in the concert and in the opera. So that's that's the main There's motivation. There's a lot to work on. There's a lot to work on. Yeah, and you, what are your conducting jobs at the moment? I'm music director of the New Zealand Symphony Orchestra, and the principal guest conductor of Japan Philharmonic in Tokyo. And do you only do those, or do you also do guest appearances? And guest conducting the rest of the time, <laughs> always in between. So it's a plenty of uh, air miles. <laughs> yeah, we first worked together actually in Germany, and we're right now in Germany at the end of the NZSO tour. That's so right. Yeah, things so come full a, circle. <laughs> that's right. Yeah. yeah and we, we were, was it four years ago maybe? In probably. In Frankfurt, we worked first time together. And you've Schoenberg. been now, it was Schoenberg, it was fantastic. And <laughs> yeah. And now it was great to do this tour with you. So it's an yeah, anniversary really tour for us. Four <laughs> yes. year anniversary, I guess. <laughs> Very significant. <laughs> <laughs> and do you miss playing violin? Sometimes. It's really nice to get, get back back into it. And uh, But, you know, it's uh, this, takes, this, this job takes a lot of time, a lot of concentration. Mm -hmm. So sometimes I do miss it, yes. Quite as a, a lot. As a conductor, how do you connect your experience with an instrument with your experience on the podium? Of course, it helps a lot. Uh, to I mean, as a conductor, you have to understand as, as much about everything as possible. So, you know, mastering a string instrument, it's quite a good foundation already for a symphony orchestra to start with. And then, then to learn a little bit about the winds, uh, then helps to complement that. And that's a, it, it, it makes a big difference. I remember the first time I ever conducted, and probably the last, I got on stage in um, the conducting class and I saw everyone staring at me and I just started laughing and I could hardly continue. <laughs> how, do you, how do you make that leap from playing with people to picking up a baton and mm. the audience would assume you're telling everyone what to do? What is your approach towards that? No, I mean, it's, it's uh, still... It is m more inviting to them to play for you. Mm -hmm. Of course there are sometimes moments that you have to be more demanding than other times but, but still still it's absolutely it is a collaboration but it is my job to decide certain things how it's done this time and if you you know everybody had had their little say but I prefer this way and I try this it, it just mm -hmm. doesn't work so but it is a it is a combination of of, of uh, uh, the foundations, yes, yeah. yes, and, and even, you know, telepathic things and you, with the tiniest mm -hmm. gestures, guide them to the direction you, you want to hear. And, but still also giving space for them, the personalities and solo players, to, to be as expressive and put their own input always when possible. Some people don't uh, allow that too much either, that they mm -hmm. want to dictate, uh, you know, particular solos too, but I, I always want to encourage freedom in such a moment as always when possible. And that leads me to my final question, which is something I've always wondered, actually. As a conductor, when you want to allow the individual orchestra members with solos mm. to play the way they, they mm. want to, and mm. I was thinking about this when you conducted tonight, mm. um, how who takes initiative on that? Do you listen to what they're inclining to do and try to work with that? Or do you create a circumstance in which they work within certain parameters? That, that's a very good question. It, it is all, also a combination of, of both. And the better you know your musicians, you more you start to understand which particular person actually opens up more when you do nothing. Or you help oh. a certain person a little bit more and give a little bit help and he plays better, he or she, you know? Yeah. So it is a combination of, of, of both that back off or, or, or give more initiative. That's pretty neat. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Cool, thank you. <laughs>